Hey guys, Jasmine's right here, and um, today we're going to be—I'll be taking you, showing you a bit, bit of Pirate Warriors 3, and talking you about what I think about the game. So at the moment, we're at the start title menu. What is the One Piece Pirate Warriors 3 logo? It's slightly—it's the standard same Pirate Warriors 3 logo that we got from the first and second games, but with the three is inflamed, and we see see a fist and the Dragon Claw attack of Sabo in both corners and it says press the touchpad to start. The main menu is the legend log, free log, dream log online, options and gallery. The legend log allows you to play play the original story from Romance Storm. What is in this game is the Pirate Warrior is is the Captain Morgan level where you rescue Zoro. All the way to Dress Rosa. Dress Rosa and you play all those. The only thing different with, from this story uh, than from the anime and manga is the Dress Rosa story. It's a bit different to, they kept the elements the same with Sav again, uh, Aces Delphi, but there's slight differences, twists and turns. But the key, I would say the key elements are still there in the game. The Captain Morgan episode to the first time you meet Buggy. To when you meet Usopp, Captain Kura is finally a level that you get to finally play in this game. But this is one of the things I really, what really griped me in in Pirate Warriors One, where Cap the whole Captain Kura things was just got looked over and not mentioned, and Usopp just suddenly joined the crew without having to do anything. Whereas all the other Straw Hats, you had levels to fight against. You got the Don's Offer or the Barantier level that was in. Pirate Warriors 1 and the, and the episode where Sanji joins you up and you got get the whole Arlong Park arc as well well a, abbreviation version to cut down into a level size as well and then we find, also get the Rogue Town as well what I think is finally nice that we get to have Rogue Town in this game as well I think we had in Pirate Warriors 1 but I can't remember and then we get all the first half of of the new, well not new world, of the Grand Line of Chopper joining and the whole Alabaster arc and Skypeer as well in the second chapter. In chapter 3 we get the Water 7, Water 7, Enos Lobby, Lobby and Post Enos Lobby arc along with Thriller Bark as well and then chapter 4 is, is the is the Shambhali the Alapelago Impel down the first half of the summit war and the conclusion of the summit war, and then we get the return to San Bono, the archipelago, and then Fishman Island. Fishman Island is one of the other new levels added into the Pirate Warriors game that I'm really glad that we get to play this game and we get to play the Fishman Island story that I wish P Pirate Warriors 2 had instead of its own story on Punk Hazard. Punk Hazard is finally a somewhat adaptation of why that gets told in in the anime and manga, but it's not quite right. And like I mentioned before, Dress Rose is a complete original game story as well. So that's pretty much it. With Dream Log, you get you get the continuation. You get to you get to pretty much select any character you want to play. From others, you get all, you get like Luce. In Vankov, you get to play all these other characters and everything in Dreamlog, and it's pretty much a dream adventure that you you take your own past turns just to try to complete the map. You can select say Luffy for this and and everything, and pretty much you're on a map and you select where you, and you pretty much complete all the little mi missions that are in this game and and everything with whatever character you play as and you just play with allies you v ally you v against you, uh, allies that are like you get to be the like brook brook as an enemy when you should be an ally and stuff like that because this is like a dream log and you get to be so many different people in in dream log and it's really really nice nice and everything so yeah uh, I'll show off the controls but going on to free log on the Captain Kura level, so that I get to show you all, all the co most of the combos and and the Kuzune Rush effects. The Kuzune Rush effects, I think, is a new thing used in the game. 
and it really is a nice thing to to do. With this, cutscene on the PS4 version, cutscenes have been stopped. So, so it really is a bit of a shame why they they cut they stop recording for the cutscenes. Cutscenes. So, yeah. So. So yeah, like any Pyroris game, you get the map layout and and all that. So you get all that, and you pretty much like any of the other Pyroris games or Dennis Woodrow games, you know the pretty much layout. Basic controls on of the of the main attacks is is square and triangle. And what you want to and they just like the soft and hard attacks and by doing different combos or different different. Different presses and combinations between those two you get to do different combos attacks from like attacks. You get the Muso bar or pirate, yeah, the Muso bar still from the other Pirate Warriors games, and that and that builds up and you get to do if you use if you just press it once, you get to use um gun gun red, red fire red orc. And if you hold it down to take up two bars, you do gun gun elephant gatling gun. Gun. So when, so pretty much like I say, you do different combos and attacks for this game. Game by pressing circle and squares, and when you build up the bars, you get to do all the different takes. So I'm gonna build up to three bars to show you that these three these two cloud modes. Modes. Right, so for this, you want to press circle. And you get to do my well, so you get to do it's gun gun elephant gatling gun. Okay, and then for single attacks you get to press circle square one and you get to do fire red hawk. And then and then for for the Kunzari attacks, you want to just build up a bar that is next to Luffy down towards the picture of Zoro. But if you've got other members of the straw hats you can build up those bars as well. So let's go to a different area. So once you've built up your Kuze mode, you want to find a group of enemies, so let's go a little bit further down and I'll show it off with a few enemies. And you want to then press R2 as the activation, activation, and then you get a cutscene, a nice little thing, and then you press up to activate and you do a, a tag team attack with a, load, with a horde of enemies and they both do that special attacks. Depending on how you set the game or set the or set the effects up, it all differs at the same time, so at the same time. So yeah, so Pyro Warriors 3, I really, really do recommend it because how I done this review is I think it's gonna be slightly long but at the same time uh the only way I could have done it at the same at this point as well and and everything because of of time constraints. But Really, it's it is one of my favourite games out there. So if you're a One Piece fan, really do go and pick this game up. You will have a lot of fun and and really enjoy it because there is a lot of differences and takes. Definitely in the Dress Rosa bit. That's what surprised me is the Dress Rosa level of this game. But it's a lot of fun. I'm not going to rate this game because ratings. I want I like for people to rate these this stuff themselves. And tell me down in the comments below what you liked about Pirate Warriors 3, what you didn't like about Pirate Warriors 3, down below. And I'll see you next time for another review. Bye bye for now.